Hey guys, welcome to our movie review for The Menu, which just got back from the film. This is um, uh, kind of a, a film that stars uh, Anna Taylor Joy and Nicholas Halt as uh, this couple who travel to a remote, exclusive island um, to eat at Hawthorne. Uh, the celebrity chef, you know, Gordon Ramsay, all the famous ones kind of type character who is creating very high class, uh, rich, fancy restaurant food, you know, gastrology or what, what do they call it? Gastrology, something like that. Uh, to prepare a for refined palates, mm -hmm. um, and he has kind of prepared this, you know. Oh, there's the molecular gastronomy menu, uh, where you know the food is an art, and but slowly but surely, um, the theme of the day uh, materializes in some. Um, I don't know if I should spoil anything, but it it gets pretty crazy uh there towards the end so we'll have a non-spoiler section and then a spoiler section though you have seen in the trailer like they were like i will give you a 30 you second seen, head you start you know something's <laughs> off and the yeah. guy just starts running he's like <laughs> uh, okay and then people are running through a forest so it's it's a thriller action horror kind of thing uh, going on dark i guess yeah i guess kind of a dark comedy as well um, but okay so we just got back from it and i uh i liked it i liked it a lot I like going to these types of restaurants, you know, like on an anniversary or for a birthday where the bill is like <laughs> like $200, $300 bill. You're like, holy Beyond shit. Beyond me, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you should you try know my it. Palate. <laughs> I know your palate, Joe, but you should try it uh, because, you, you, you know, food cooked a certain way, you know, with care, with extra attention, with amazing ingredients is a fucking experience. And I'm, I, th I just thought it was so cool that they kind of mixed this kind of horror thriller yeah. idea with fancy restaurants. And, uh, of course, the film ha has a message and, and things get pretty crazy along. But I think the acting was, was, was great. There was a lot of tension. Uh, each course I was, I was looking forward to. What are you eating? What, what is it made of? All this kind of interesting stuff. And then exactly why all of these people are here, because it does seem as if they've been specifically chosen for a reason. So I think it comes together very, very well. It was an entertaining watch. I was entertained from start to finish. I didn't want to get up and go to the bathroom, because like, even though I needed to, because I was drinking too much. Uh, <laughs> and, but also, um, it, it obviously culminates in a final course and you know dessert. And I think that's where it kind of falls apart a little bit, just a tiny bit, like, because everything was running on all cylinders for me. Mm -hmm. And uh, and it was really uh, excelling above and beyond. But I think it got maybe a little too uh, predictable there towards the end, and I was expecting for a little more. Um, you have to have your sp suspension of disbelief, because there's several moments in here I'm like, no, no, why? The, the, no, that just doesn't make sense, and... I'm getting so everybody has to be kind of you know in a fantasy world so to speak to actually make it work but because I was enjoying myself so much it didn't really matter the journey was was fun enough to get there even though the ending let's say all the courses were like you know nine out of ten and then that last meal was like seven eight you know it's like oh you don't end like that you gotta end on the biggest note so that's how i felt about the menu what about you guys i honestly love this film yeah like going into this i saw this I was like this is gonna be a weird film i it's not for me but i honestly loved it it was captivating yeah. all the way through yeah every course just get like ramping up like yep. the intensity is like what's going on what's gonna <laughs> happen and just so like What's up? Have you ever eaten food like this before? I'm no, just curious. No, no. Joe, I'm taking you out then, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> that's going to be a date? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, because like every time I see food like that, I'm like, that's not that's enough stupid. to feed anybody. Right. <laughs> Like, I'm going to be starving. One, one spoon. And in how much bed. are you charging for that? I know. You know me, yeah. man. I'm Four, frugal. Five, six hundred dollars. Exactly. I'm frugal, so that's yeah. not for me. <laughs> but uh, I like the way everything kind of tied in together and like mm -hmm. this, the message of it and I love this film. Okay. 
Yeah, Alex. Yeah, I, I'm very curious what uh, Alex has to say. Yes, Obviously, Alex is our resident <laughs> chef. Yes. He cooks these delicious things for us, stuff I've never heard of. And then also, you know, stuff that you've eaten before, but you've never eaten it as good as that. So it is kind of a, sh- a food movie. Yes. Yeah. I, and so, I mean, this this is kind of like a spoof. It's a, it's a great dark comedy. Um, and then it just kind of goes over some of the horse shit in like the restaurant industry. There's so mm-hmm. many parts that it's just yep. <laughs> amazing to watch where, cause you know, you, you I don't want to get spoiled or anything, but there's some really satisfying moments in this movie. Um, and yes, it, chef. It, it, it is. It is. Re- oh, that's garbage. That, that whole yes, cult, that, that culture is garbage. It's a cult. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a fucking cult. Yeah, that shit sucks. Yeah. Uh, but you know, it, it's 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 great, and I think it's totally worth. There's some. There's they set it up, and it can be kind of awkward in the beginning. Mm-hmm. Um, but they're purposely setting it up to kind of to explain what what everything's going to happen. Mm-hmm. But I wasn't even turned off about it because you know it kind of once you start watching this movie, it's really heavily foreshadowing what's going to happen throughout. Mm-hmm. And you're like, oh, okay, we're building up to something. I do agree that. It, it kind of, I don't think it ended poorly. It no, just, no. It just, no. you know, it just kind of was, everything else was so amazing. So good, and then that, you have an, a, a good meal. Yeah, when, when it was pretty good at the end, it's like, man, we were we were great the whole way let's, through. Let's do um, amazing. <laughs> you know, I, I, there was, in the back of my mind, I'm like, this is bullshit. Like, but it, I, yeah, I, what, I, what about the dishes? Have you ever had any, any of those types oh, yeah. of dishes? Because I've never heard of almost any of them, Joe. Have oh, you eaten no, any of that? No. Even the fancy restaurants I go to, they don't serve these little fucking... Tiny beads of multicolored bullshit. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They they definitely do that. And it's great. I, actually, we. I, oh, bone that. marrow. I have had bone marrow. So I've not. You've not had bone marrow. No. It's delicious and kind of gross, but really? it's delicious. Yeah. Okay. We gotta well, take. We you have to take. You know, we're taking. We're I taking just don't Joe tell him what's in stuff. To a fancy <laughs> restaurant. Yeah. He uh, tricks me. <laughs> yeah, I just like. He's, well, there's onions in this. Like it's made entirely out of onions. It's onion soup. I told. It's like I don't understand. No, but this this movie was uh it was great. And uh, yeah, and there's gonna be people that are kind of sucked out of it. But there's some unbelievable scenes. But yeah. I was along for the ride, so it didn't bother me much. Yeah, and maybe it plays into that kind of dark comedy kind of thing where it's like mm-hmm. you just along for the ride and, and, and you're accepting. Apparently, it's produced partly by Will Ferrell. I didn't know that. So I saw that at the end. Adam Is Mc- that so a different he, Will Ferrell? No, he and Adam McKay used to work Adam together McKay. all the time. Used yeah. to work together all the time. And then they split up, and then Will Ferrell was doing shit like Sherlock, uh-huh. uh, that oh awful God. things. And Will Ferrell's life spiraled out of control, and all the things that he touched was dog shit. And then yeah. Adam McKay went on to win Do Everything. So mm. Adam McKay's been doing I think that this is Adam McKay throwing Will Ferrell a bone. Yeah. Uh, it's like, hey, I'll let you produce this because <laughs> everything that you touch sucks. Yeah. So. Damn. Uh, well, they, they let's see. This, uh, you know, had some some accolades. Fantastic Fest here in Austin. It uh, won uh, an audience award versus all the other. Uh, it was the audience's favorite, uh, and it, it is a crowd pleaser. I think it does please. So um, we don't really want to say any more in the this section. So we'll give you a verdict. I think Anna Taylor uh, Joy does a fantastic job. She's you know the focus is on her and her date and you know how the the night unfolds and and whether she can get past all this and. Uh, and I think it's it's pretty satisfactory, and uh, so we'll talk about more of that in the spoilers. But let's go ahead and give the menu a final verdict. I was thoroughly enjoyed. I went to the movies, and it, it did its job, and I loved it. So I'm gonna go with the nine. Honestly, okay. yeah, great That's acting, it. and I loved everyone. Like, yeah. like you just see different types of people, mm-hmm. like all oh, the rich kids. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, let you just do this for experience, and they the did snobs, have a nice the little pompous, right? Yes, you, you have people. your own little groups, and you yeah. see various types of that, and it's just like. Enhanced everything, yeah. So I, I really enjoyed it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I did too. I agree. I'm gonna get, also give this a nine. Uh, it's just very, it's satisfying because you know they they build up these characters in this movie and then stuff happens throughout and you're like, yes. And it's and so <laughs> yeah. like those those movements uh, those mo- uh, parts are so great. The only reason I'm not giving this probably like a ten or something is like there are some believability parts that again it didn't mm-hmm. really bother me, but it's just like there could have been tightened yeah. up pretty easily. And then honestly, that the the end. It didn't feel as spectacular as the rest as of the, the movie. Of the movie yeah. And so, I mean, that's I'm, I'm nitpicking because I think it was really great. Yeah, I, I was also, because of those reasons, I was between an 8 and a 9. And I think ultimately, when I first walked out, I was like, this is a great movie. You know, I would watch it again. Yeah, uh, So Because, you know, so I'm going to go with a 9 out of 10. I highly recommend you see it. If you're a foodie, you need to see this. If you like thrillers with lots of tension, you need to see this. If you've ever it's been a to a fancy too. restaurant, you need to see this. If you work at a fancy restaurant, 
restaurant, I want to hear your stories. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I want to hear that. If and, you've ever worked in, the, in a restaurant, in the, in you, a restaurant you, you want to like, watch this. Yeah. Like these, these people, you're going to really enjoy this. Uh, all right. So that's who should go and see it. Uh, but now we can go ahead and discuss some of the nitty gritty in the spoiler section. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you in the next Angry Joe show. Hey guys, welcome to the spoiler section. So, uh, what I was trying to avoid telling you is obviously he has all these guests come to this exclusive island. They're, they're it's all fresh ingredients and they've got everything and they're they are legitimately really good food. Okay, uh, even even the people critics are like, mm, yeah, this is this is good, right? Uh, but Sometimes. the problem is, is you gonna die? <laughs> okay, he, he kills everyone. This. Motherfucker, uh, Julian Swalik, uh, the celebrity chef, has, I guess, lost his fucking mind. Suppression cooking, trying to be on the top and everything And else. he has decided to make one final concoction meal uh, as his magnum opus. He's going to not only kill all of these guests who represent the worst in society and the ruination of his art. Uh, he's not only going to kill them, but he's going to kill himself and, yes, chef, his whole staff. So this is where you, some of the believability problems, it's like I would have liked to have maybe seen a little more on why. And he has, what, how many line chefs and sous chefs? He's got a ton. They, uh, there's like at least teams. a staff of 30, yeah, something like, like that. And you, so I'm like... You have to just suspend your disbelief that these people are automatons where it's like, yes, I'm on board. Let's fucking die together. I guess it turned into – I guess the film plays in well, on that it's it a is, cult. That's what it is because it was like a cult because she's like, yeah. it was actually my idea. So, okay. Yeah. So, yes, exactly. So they, they do tease a little bit of that, that these people – are just as crazy as he is. But I got to imagine that there would have been a few that were like, uh, They killed them a week before. And Exactly. That, it would have been nice to have something like Brain. that mm -hmm. in order to tighten up the believability. But, you know, while it might have been nice, it was completely unnecessary. I don't think it takes away from it. I, 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 yeah, in fact, it might might ruin it or take the focus away. So I just <laughs> – but I just wanted to point out how it's like, mm, that's the thing where it's like, damn, can I believe all of these people? Um, his assistant in, in particular uh, is really the only one to attack the guests. Uh, she's basically, you're not going to take my place, Anna Taylor-Joy, because turns out uh, the guy, Taylor, uh, invites her last Tyler, minute. Yeah. Uh, Tyler uh, invites her last minute, and uh, he goes to the podium and they say some other girl's name, and he gets embarrassed. He's like, oh, don't, uh, sorry, I forgot to change the name. And, well, it turns out that, like, she had broken up with him, and he couldn't go to the event as just a solo. It has to be two people and, you know, guests. And so he chose uh, a random uh, like, a woman uh, of the night. A woman of the <laughs> night. A hooker, <laughs> an escort. And that's what turns out uh, who she is. You know, it seems like they're on a date. and a, But as things are revealed, uh, you notice that she looks at one of the other, like, rich old man guests. And she's, like, trying to, like, look mm -hmm. a different way because he's uh, had her as a client. but Or he, he's been her client before and stuff like that. So that, get, that gets revealed there. And so as... Uh, She's entering, and these people, and all these chefs, and you know the chef himself, like, who the fuck is this? You're ruining, you know. As the night goes on, you're ruining things. Like, how are you here? And then he has to determine: Are you with them, or are you with us? Of course, you can be like, I'm with y'all. I'm with y'all. And, and he's like, Well, we're all gonna die. It doesn't matter whether you're with us. And she's, so she's like, Well, fuck it. Um, and it was just great. So who are some of these guests here? What are their personalities? John like? Leguizamo is like an um, uh, an actor mm -hmm. who's going past his prime. Right. And you got those it's rich, bad cocky boys. And just like, oh, you know who we are, blah, well, blah, it's, blah. Yeah, so in the, like, those are the people who don't give a shit about what they're eating. They're, mm -hmm. they, they're, I, I know someone like this very personally that they go and do stuff, and they don't give a fuck about what they're doing. They just want to tell you on Instagram how awesome everything mm -hmm. was, but they don't care or appreciate anything that's in yeah, front they, of them. Yeah, they, they, they they make fun of the people that take the photographs. Uh, they make fun of the rich people who basically this is their McDonald's 
where they just go there so often, even though it should really only be experienced, yeah. you know, one or two times. Uh, they go there all the time and you don't appreciate the food. In fact, the chef at one point goes to the older guy uh, who was a client. Of, of Eleven he's times. Like, Name one fucking dish that you <laughs> ate previously. And he can't Cod. do it. Yeah. No, his God. wife helps him. He's eating, co- he's eating tacos 11 times. I, need, I, needed, I needed that swine. line to be tightened up a little bit because the second he said it, it was like, you say that they eat tacos literally every time, you need to say, other than the tacos, tell me one thing. No, no, no they didn't say they eat tacos every time. Yeah, he says it's always on the menu no matter what. Oh, the, the one that put him on the map. Oh, yeah, that, that yeah, one is always yeah, yeah, served dish, no matter what. Yeah. Dish. Okay, yeah. gotcha. Uh, so, yeah. And then they, they so uh, they're kind of on, all the guests are teetering on, like, what is this? This can't be real. This is theater kind of stuff. Until it starts to get serious with those tortillas. And, and they have a great joke there where they bring the tortillas <laughs> yes. and, and they have printed on them all of their transgressions. So the rich guys are embezzlers mm-hmm. and, and yeah. stealing money. <clears throat> the the, the old mistress. dude is messing around on his wife. Um, the, the, the one foodie is taking pictures when they told him not to take the pictures. Some lesser ones there, but... Um, and the actor who had the <laughs> shitty movie. And the yeah. actor with the <laughs> shitty movie. Well, see, that's when I knew the guy was full of shit because I was like, why is the actor here? And he explains why John Lenguizan was there. He's like, because I, I didn't like your movie. <laughs> on my day off, I went to go watch a movie on a Sunday. <laughs> And it was terrible. <laughs> and your fucking face is why you are here. Of course, he describes it in a much more professional yeah, way. Yeah, and he, he, celebrity he explains money. it like you used to be passionate about your art, and now you're not passionate about your art. You're just doing it all for the money and, and all that is. kind of thing. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, and, and he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you're, you're right, you're right. Even though I would have been like, no, you got to fight more than that. And, in fact, they do make a comment that some of them try to fight, but he's like, you guys didn't even fight, too. Like, you could have tried even harder. Who knows? You might have won, you know. Uh, but they kind of were resigned to their fates because some of them know that they're pieces of shit. The old dude kind of fights, tries to, you know, get past all these bodyguards. They're huger chefs, and they cut his fingers off. So then he just cries like a baby after they cut his fingers off to try to uh, keep him there. Um, but what was I saying? So, yeah, the, it, things get real when they start to see their transgressions on these tortillas, like, what's going on? And he's like, what is this? Excuse me. Excuse me. What is this? And she's like, this it's is. It's a tortilla. It's a tortilla. <laughs> <laughs> and she's doing what the, the fancy restaurants do. They get all into it. And she's, like, m- meticulously describing it. He's like, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about this. You know, it's just funny jokes like that. And, uh. And then uh, at one point, one of his sous chefs is like, okay, we got a next course. And the course is called The Mess. And they put a, a little tarp down, some little fancy garnishes on the side. And then they, they put a, a curtain behind him. And then it's like, okay, do it. And then he shoots himself in, in the fucking mouth. Well, he's did. also talking about depression. He's like, he was growing up, he wanted to take my job and he wanted to mm-hmm. be the best chef, but he's good. But he's not great. He'll right. never be great. And then you see like a tear in his eye. He's I, like, oh. I guess that's why he. I was like, how do you convince somebody to just shoot yourself <laughs> like that? And apparently he has such a, such a way with words that he can talk you into suicide or something. Yeah. Uh, at least if we you're part that. of a cult. Um, and so the guy shoots himself in front of everybody. Everybody freaks out. And then you get the guy getting his finger chopped off. And during this, everybody is acting hysterically because obviously, if you're in this situation, you know you're being you've been kidnapped. You cannot get off the island without their permission or a boat or whatever. And uh, but what's funny about it is uh, Tyler is really just enjoying his fucking food. <laughs> I'm like, what is going on with Tyler? I was like, who is this? He? Is he he the like, son? That's what I liked about it during he... everything. Is like you're trying to figure a piece together. It's like, why is everyone here? Yeah. And you're trying to get those yeah. little pieces. And, and he's you, still into the food. Yeah. He's like, you, you got the mouthfeel. You know, you know, <laughs> like, what is his deal? Well, his deal is that he is fucking crazy. He's obsessed as well. Um, well he also knows he's going to get, he's going to die. Yeah. He uh, was one of the only ones that, that knew ahead of time. That yeah. And then, so then you're like, where was he taking pictures? Like, this is kind of dumb. And then he's yeah. just excited because he's a freaking weirdo. Yeah. But he, and then, uh, and, and so he, uh, the, the chef is like, uh, you know, you, you fucked this up. You've brought her. Um, and you, and you knew she was going to die. She gets mad. Anna Taylor Joy punches him. And, uh, and he's like, all right, but you know, let's, let's, uh, 
you've been a foodie all your life. Uh, you, you like to dabble in, in cook and come cook for us. And he basically publicly humiliates This is the him. best scene in the whole movie. You think I, you can fucking cook? I fucking love these <laughs> people. When these people, like... Get called out? I uh, guess, like, <laughs> you know... But it would have been better if it was the critic that was do that had to do that that dabbles in because she was like I make my own tortillas too and this and that, but the foodie who was already like oh I'm so excited I'm eating the food the food is really good he never claimed that he was good at cooking, and so I don't really know if I buy too much that it's like oh you don't like my cooking my cooking wasn't as good as yours and now I'm gonna kill myself. After you taste it and you whisper into my ear something mean, and I'm gonna go hang myself. I don't know. Oh uh, man, you had a good. So you cook at like big, <laughs> big open events or in an open kitchen, and then there's people that walk up and they're like, "Hey, are you doing this?" It's like, "Yeah, it's because my fucking job." Well, I do it, and it's like, "No, you don't. You don't fucking do any of these things. You watch Emerald one time. Mm. You don't know shit about anything, and everyone in here knows you don't know." And then it's like, "Cool, here's the pan. You fucking do it." And they're like, mm -hmm. "Well, I've never used the knife before." And yeah, he's, he's like, like, he's like, he's like, oh, there's a technique we've <laughs> never used." Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and, and you've been de you know denying us this 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 dicing technique. Huge chunks, just like demoralizing uh, uh, no him. No salt, uncleaned it. leaks. Loved like it, it was perfect. It like was in the <laughs> pan, and then he did it for I don't know thirty seconds. He's like, and it's he done. I was like, done. I don't even think that's done. That's gonna be I wouldn't eat that. Well, the title of the thing was Tyler's bullshit. Yeah. Oh, I love that part. Yeah. So every dish, Uncooked. by the way, has. <laughs> Yeah. A nice close-up shot and the ingredients and what it is. I thought that was that was cool. So, eventually, as people are being killed, uh, you know, and they are they're doing this crazy shit. Um, Anna Taylor Joy is is not taking this lightly. She wasn't even taking the bullshit in the first place. Of the first time they come, they said, "Here's bread without the bread." There's some garnishes. He's like, what? He's insulting you guys. You guys don't see this. So she was catching on before everybody else. And uh, she, w given the opportunity, she wasn't supposed to be there. And he's trying to determine, are you one of them, the takers, or are you one of us, the givers? So he gives her a little bit of leeway in decision making. And at one point, decides that she should be on, on their side, even though he's fucking crazy. She, she's going to die anyway. But uh, he gives her the responsibility to get a barrel full of stuff that will help with the dessert. And uh, she takes that opportunity to go to the off-limits cabin, uh, the, the ho home chef's of house. the chef's house, and, uh, you know, kind of explore what's behind this fucking silver door. And I was like, uh, she's like, what? Because uh, somebody asked about the silver door before. She's like, that's very special. What's behind there is very special. And a uh, little disappointing. There's nothing really in there. <laughs> it's uh, his previous accolades and some newspaper articles and uh, a key thing that helps her uh, get with this situation. And then a CB radio. So she calls for help on the CB radio. Apparently, it doesn't call the police. She just calls the trolley dude who, you know, uh, who, you know, is wearing official gear, has a handgun and everything. Uh, but she also notices a picture on his uh, a desk that is him, like, enjoying himself. Like, the first like big accolade he ever got which was like Herbie's hamburgers or <laughs> something. You know, he made a really good nice hamburger. So she just remembers that. And uh anyway, she calls for help. They uh, but before this they have that funny scene that you've seen in the trailer uh where essentially they say okay, all the men uh need to go and or run. We'll give you a head start. And I thought they were just going to kill the men and then cook them. Me too. Right? I thought <laughs> but, they were just going to kill them. But no, they just did a chase. And the guy who uh, survived the longest gets a special meal. And he and was popped in the, in the title. He was in the <laughs> chicken <laughs> coop. <laughs> you just see a hand. Here you go. Because <laughs> they knew exactly where he was, I guess. Or by the end, they knew where he was. Anyway, so then they get all the men to come back in. Uh, so I was like, okay. So you thought that maybe they'd all die right there. They don't die. Um... Yeah, so then uh, how, Joe, does Anna Taylor-Joy as Margot get out of this situation? Because he's not letting anybody leave. He's obviously going to commit suicide, mass suicide and murder. Because the whole thing is like he just cooking to please people. He lost his joy. Mm -hmm. And the key thing was she saw the burger. He used to look so happy. Mm -hmm. She's like, chef, I want to return my food. I am starving. Mm -hmm. I want... 
a cheeseburger. Yeah. And his, you can see his eyes kind of light up. He's like, I will make you a cheeseburger. Right. right. She plays on his vanity. He's like, you, you know, your food sucks, and I'm dissatisfied. He's like, well, how can this be? Because, and she's like, you're on cooking with love anymore. It's, Damn Which shit. he wasn't. <laughs> that is, I, Alex knows. Even Alex knows the key ingredient is love. I put my love in everything that you guys eat. The bear stew? <laughs> what? What are we talking about? The bear stew? Oh, <laughs> no. Say what? You're basically <laughs> poisoning us uh, with your love. Ew! All right. Anyways, so then, you know, so he's like, he's like, I, I'm what do you want? I have everything here. I can make you anything. And then she's like a cheeseburger and not some fancy gastrology cheeseburger, a real greasy traditional cheeseburger. And he's like, I can do that. And so, and he's making it. You see it. He as ruined he's it with the it, onions. That's how you make them. God damn it, Joe. He ruined it with the onions. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't like my onions on my burger either, so I'm with you, Joe. <laughs> All right, anyways, <laughs> so he's enjoying, he, you can see, he starts to smile a little bit. And so she, the lesson of the day is his uh, passion's play, play on the killer's vanity <laughs> and then his vulnerability, and then maybe he will let you go <laughs> because uh, she, she's, he serves her the cheeseburger. I thought she was going to be like, this tastes like shit or uh, like get, it, get him to fuck up because previously I thought it was a critical line. He's like, it all needs to come together. It, you know, it all needs to make sense in the end and you all have to die in order for it to make sense. And I'm doing this without any ego. I'm doing it purely. So I thought maybe she was going to trip him up and, and, and there'll be some of his ego in there, you know, in some way. Uh, <clears throat> like, I'm killing John Lucas on because he pissed me off. And, and I guess there is a little bit of that, but that wasn't the key. The Sherlock key was... Sherlock pissed me off. What? Sherlock Holmes pissed me off. Will Ferrell fucked that guy. Yeah. Oh, it was a that fucking Sherlock one. Holmes. I was to say, man. The no, Sherlock now, Holmes now has been with, good. Now with the, oh, the, Holmes and, the Holmes and Watson. No, yeah. Holmes and Watson. Watson. Yeah. yeah, fuck that, Will. <laughs> Damn it. Anyways, wasted so, my night. So <laughs> she eats it, and instead of lying to him or something like that, or trying to get him angry, she's like, it tells the truth, and it's like, now nah, that's a fucking cheeseburger, and he's like, mm-hmm. played on his vanity. Now you did see before, and she noticed that. There was a crazy lady. When they let all the guys run away, uh, the women went inside and had a, a special meal uh, cooked by this lady, and they realized that she uh, also felt joy and, and emotion, and it's like this could be a weakness to get through to some of these crazy people. Um, and as they tried to press her, uh, they realized how crazy she was. It was like, the killing the people, that was my idea. And this lady, I didn't quite catch this. I think it was... She gets a special moment of stabbing the celebrity chef in the balls, like be in the leg, in the leg. Because why? Because uh, he tried to make advances on her. Mm-hmm. She said no, but he kept doing it again and again. Oh, just okay. twice, okay. twice, okay. just twice. So, I, I, <laughs> so, I, it was him he, himself, the yeah. celebrity chef, not like yeah. one of the other people. Okay, and it's symbolic to stab in the thigh, like he stabbed his father in the thigh on Taco Tuesday night. Uh huh. Okay. The thing is, too, like I thought they were gonna do more with the mother. Yes, she That's was there I the thought. whole time. Yeah, and she, was she didn't drinking do anything a lot. She was, she was gonna get lit on fire. Resigned to her fate. Drinking? Yeah, How but can you I do thought that they were gonna mom? play more into her. Crazy. Yeah, me too. I thought it was gonna result in a little bit more. But I- anyways, uh, so yeah, she uh, basically plays on his vanity, and then she comes up with the idea of. Well, yes, it's very good, but my eyes were bigger than my appetite. Uh, can I get it to go? And he's like, Is that a no no? You don't take French fries. Who doesn't take French fries yeah, to French go? French fries well, I'm to not, go. I'm, I'm just saying, work. like, if, you, if I went to a fancy restaurant, to go to a fancy restaurant. You know what? Yes, you go. could get it to go, but not a cheeseburger and not well, no, fries. Yeah, I'm just there, saying. there is not enough food at any fancy restaurant for you to have anything left over to take okay. to go. And so what is funny about this is I have gone to a fancy restaurant and eaten a cheeseburger afterwards because I was fucking hungry. <laughs> because I leave normal restaurants hungry, but when you go to a well, fancy that's, place, that's I'm you. very hungry. It plays that's right you. into what the film was saying. Yeah. It's like, no, this shit is filling me up. Fuck this little fancy fucking bullshit. Me Give me a good damn cheeseburger. I would survive, by the way. Huh? I think I would survive. Well, because you'd be like, can I go? No, because they'd be like, I don't Can I don't get like it this. to go? This I don't like this. not for me. <laughs> can I get a cheeseburger? <laughs> okay, but you wouldn't have known to ask for a cheeseburger, would you have? 
No, I don't like. Is there anything else I can eat? <laughs> yeah, he's like, well, there's onions in it. He's like, I don't it like onions. would have killed you first, Joe, because you would have just insulted him. No, he right? would be like, you don't belong here. He's like, yeah, I don't. <laughs> you, you wouldn't even made it to the island because the very first thing they serve you on the boat is an oyster, and you're like, oh, I don't, I don't do, I don't yeah, do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He doesn't eat fish. Okay, or so get it to go. Onions. Get it, <laughs> get it to go, and then he actually does bundle it up for and and lets her go. Uh, and I was like, uh, again, a little bit of believability issue, but no, because it plays on his past. Uh, you believe that it, it, it struck with him. Mm-hmm. And he's doing this all out of passion and, and this twisted, uh, you know, fucking psycho mentality. So this plays into that. So, That's okay. Not, she can't that, turn him in. He's fucking like killing every single person on the island. So who yeah. gives a shit if someone goes away? This, yeah, exactly. It doesn't, it, it, it's still believable. It's just like, damn, man, these people are seriously cult in cult ish where yeah. they're all going to kill themselves because. As she gets away, what is the final uh, meal here? She sits down and eats that burger and those fucking probably soggy fries because she put them in a no, closed container. No, what's the final meal for the people still in the island? Oh, the bullshit s'mores. They make them like these. He's like s'mores. Yeah. <laughs> like, he's like, this is the worst. That's uh, what he was thing. saying. He was like, it's the like, worst thing. I was like, what do you mean? S'mores are great. He's not talking. He's not, he's not saying that small. I, I, like I was telling him, you don't have to use Hershey's chocolate to make your s'mores. You can use better chocolate. But it's cheaper. It, mm-hmm. Yes, <laughs> yes, that, that's that's correct. The marshmallows don't matter. Yeah, he makes these s'mores, and the camera does go, goes overhead, and you can see they kind of, and then they turn them into marshmallow like people. The whole, and I was like, okay, this is getting a little, a little over the top, a little crazy, because even the people themselves have kind of revi- resigned their state, and even they are like, yes, yeah, chef, and some of them are like, are like moved by his stupid speech at the end. I'm like, ah. The, this, so I had a no problem with the, the, the sous chefs and mm-hmm. like anyone in the kitchen having like not following him. I had issues with the customers being such great custom- yes. murder customers. Yes. And so, all you had to do is sedate him and just be like, oh, I've done the thing to you and you cannot move now. Or you've, I've, I've done something where yeah. – or do something like have a guy get up and want to fight them. Uh-huh. And they just like – they flay him or something. I thought they were going to do something at the end where maybe a few do get away. But then he had poisoned each That's what individual I thing where when they all where mix they together, like, you're going you're gonna to die or you'll or be something. paralyzed mm-hmm. or something like that. But they didn't go that way. These people were just kind of resigned to their fate yeah. uh, by the end, and they were almost welcoming of it. And I'm not sure because after she did the cheeseburger thing, she did it in full view of all the other guests. So I turned to Excuse Melissa and I said, I said, may I have a cheeseburger too? Is <laughs> yeah. what I would be like. I need a cheeseburger. I need it to go. Well, no, he already knew because she didn't belong there. Because yeah. she was like working class, the other one. True. Yeah, true. Like, and You're he had class. kind of... He wanted to help her, and uh, but he wanted to kill her as well. But then that appealed to his, you know. So it makes sense. Yeah. Okay. All right. And um, what else? Yeah. Then she, as she's, uh, you know, driving away in the boat, the boat kind of breaks down, and you see a, a big explosion. explosion because there's just a bunch of flames. Everybody, even the chef, starts turn the chefs the in stoves. the background turning on the stoves, and everybody dies in flame. Um, because, you know, s'mores suck unless they're activated by fire, was his point was, or something. Mm-hmm. And so then they all die horribly. And <laughs> it's pretty good. We we forgot to also mention that he is just an executive chef, right? He's not the owner. He's not the owner of the island. Of course, he can't afford all these things, so he has an investor. And, and in the film, he does eventually bring the investor. Now, I didn't know what was going on because it's too dark, so I was like, you know, he had him in wings, angel investor and then he just dipped him in the water i thought he was gonna dip him in like oil or something more grotesque and the film doesn't do a lot of uh there's no gore there's no massive blood it's not like a freddy krueger or a jason x kind of thing it's more you know uh refined right it's we're in a fancy restaurant we don't need to do that it's <laughs> ultra modern stuff so anyway i guess they dip him in the water and just drown him mm-hmm. uh, so he doesn't have to listen They're so much. pretty because that motherfucker d- kept trying to change his menu he said kept trying to tell him there are no food. substitutions <laughs> <laughs> and i would have been like can i have a substitution because I, I don't like certain I things i would have too yeah <laughs> i mean we, we've been dead they so. don't like anything you're like i don't want that sauce i hate <laughs> onions i don't like vegetables i don't like there. fish and it's just like <laughs> yeah, that's Joe. I love fish. Nah, and but I'm to the point where it's like I have to get Joe to eat some fish before he dies. We're gonna be in an old folks home. He's like, all right, all right, all right. 
<laughs> it's Jen. Not God damn it, Joe. Anyways, there's going to be some, like I said, when you go to a fancy restaurant, Joe, it's not like the shitty, you know, I've eaten some things where it's like, I don't like this, you know, and then you eat at a fancy restaurant and it's like prepared completely different, tastes completely different, and you're like, whoa, I, I like that, you know what I mean? So, anyways, uh, really fun. So, just a fun film. If you like food, if you like uh, thrillers, if you like, um, you know, horror and that kind of and intrigue and stuff. Uh, go watch this one. It's good. Yep. Good performances all around. And, uh, yeah, is that it? Would we miss anything? Um, I think we covered everything. Now, as far as everybody deserving to die, I had some questions. The wife of the guy, uh, why did he kill? I mean, she's not necessarily a bad person. She wasn't. She's just been there 11 times. And I guess she both, also couldn't name they both shit don't in know his the names. mind. And then there was a chance that maybe somebody else could have escaped. It was the assistant mm-hmm. to John Leguizamo. But as they are talking, it's revealed that she had been stealing from him, and he kind of knew she was stealing anyway. So she has a little bit of guilt on her hands. But when he came over to talk to her, and you know John was making a point about, I don't understand why we're all dying, and then he tells him about, the, you have no passion for your art. And he's like, oh. Okay, because <laughs> he lost it, and uh, but then when she yeah, he's like, but what what about her? And then he asked her about the student loans. He's like, where'd and, you go to school? She says Brown. Yeah. He's like, student loans, and she says, no. I was like, you pay you're fucking cash, die. pay cash, you're yeah, die. you're dead. So that's why, like, if she and because she's probably high society and rich person, he's just gonna kill the rich person. Now, if he had stu- if she had student loans, she probably would have been let go. I think is probably the only other person. Who who else was up in there? There was the food critics. And one of the guy, I guess, was the they're editor of the paper. Uh, yeah, he owns she, the, the magazine. They're both pompous assholes. Yeah, <laughs> and she had ruined uh, several restaurants, I'm sure, with her bullshit. And it played into her vanity, where he personally texted her to come. And then he even admits that that she fed his vanity too, because when he was first starting out, I mean, his restaurant was super popular, and she helped make it. Um, so yeah, who else was there? And that, yeah, I think we covered everybody and everything. Pretty pretty fun film. Uh, she gets a small memento of her time there. They 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 give her a goodie bag, a gift bag filled with what was it? The menu. The menu. The, menu. the list of <laughs> places list to of... get the ingredients. Uh, one guy got his finger back. It yeah, was... all of all of the guy's fingers and in each of the bag. And then so she's eating her cheeseburger as she's watching it all go up in flames. And then she wipes her m- m- with uh, mouth menu. with the menu. I was waiting for an after credit scene. No after credit scene. It just kind of ends right there. So she gets away. She put in the most effort to get the fuck out. She noticed the bullshit. She's a hard worker and working class. And so that was, and so she gets to live. Anyways, that's it, guys. Thank you all uh, so Good much. Good film all around. Good film all around. Well, thank you so much for watching. And we will see you on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye, Bye guys. guys.